Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel. It is Sleep Art Game and E. And today we're taking a look at these fighters that I've thrown together. And I was sort of decided that yeah, I feel like making a few fighters after the dog fights I've recently had. Maybe something with a lot of mobility. So I actually started out with this idea here. Actually, before I got the center pot here, I'll just trim it away really quickly to show you guys what it originally looked like and delete that. And it was basically, I came up with this idea. I wanted to have a basic ring that would allow me to move in every direction except for forward and backwards. And then I decided that, hey, I'll stick something in the middle. I didn't know what it was at first. That would allow me to shoot at targets. Now, as I built it, I realized that I would absolutely actually have to put those engines on the center piece and not the sides. Because originally I was sort of hoping to have them here, but there wasn't enough room. So I ended up sticking them here at the front and I have two back. I have its assortment of weapons here and that's mirrored on the other side. And I have its missile launcher on the top and at the back I have basically the same thing minus the weapons is these two engines here and then two more behind it that way it has four engines pointing in each direction allowing it to move pretty well and down the middle of it I actually have mainly just generators I think that might be all I have and the gyros themselves are stored up in there and if I'm to hop in here really quickly you can see I'm able to move pretty quickly it's a decent handling thing you can see the nice little laser lights showing up there which is pretty damn damn nice it's a, it's a pretty nice ship. It sort of reminds me of the Voyager satellite that they showed in, what was it, Battlezone 2, I think, at the very beginning cutscene. Very, very cool ship. This thing, I'm not too happy with it, but I'm happy enough to say I wouldn't mind using it to fight. But of course, one of its big failings is that its cockpit, even though it doesn't have much view, you actually don't want your cockpit really exposed at all in the current build of the game because one single bullet is all it seems to take to murder you in the cockpit. Also something I just want to point out really quickly is with missiles, you notice that? Here look, the dots are right on the object when I fired. Notice the missiles have some inertia added to the movement basically with the ship and then they sort of straighten themselves out it seems and go to more just dead on forward from wherever they are. So you gotta account when you're shooting at stuff for the actual motion that your bullets or your missiles are going to get from your ship actually moving at a side angle. Or at least it, that works with missiles. Anyway, I thought that was something interesting that I fully realized today and just thought I'd share that. Anyway, let's fly back up there to the other ships now and take a little quick look at them. Now this next ship here is something I'm sort of experimenting with. I decided, okay, what if we do somehow manage to fit all of the engines I want in? So instead of having just four big ones for a direction, what if we had just a dozen of these small ones? So that's what I did with this. It is an absolute test subject. It's not a finished ship in any way, since most of its machinery is completely exposed. The gyros are still up in the corners there. But you can see the basic idea is all there of having all of the equipment right in the middle. There's no real easy way to cover this though without bulking up the ship. And I decide, hey, I, I just rather work on something a bit bigger than this. But you can see this one, it handles pretty well. Its acceleration isn't bad at all either. We go to stop. But a big problem you might notice in the bottom right down there is even when moving, we're pretty much always in the red in reactor usage. So you end up with a lot of trouble, and that just didn't seem right to me. Even if it's pretty cool, the idea of having this little, like, thing suspended in the middle while you're firing at stuff. I don't know, it just didn't seem right. So that's when I went on to this next ship right here. Let me actually hop out of this. And this is where I took basically the same idea. I just scaled it up a little bit. So I bumped out the originally pretty small cowling to be this bigger thing here. I stuck in bigger engines, that way we would have four on each side again, pointing it, and then I've stuck the same amount on of small engines in there as well. The forward and backward have a few more than the side engines, that small engines that is. And this big thing sticking out of the back, which looks a bit funky, sort of like an insect almost, but I don't know, is basically just full of large reactors to power all the engines. I think I stuck a few more gyroscopes in there and possibly some in here, and you can see here the front is covered up for extra protection, and you can also see we have a huge assortment of guns, lots and lots of Gatling guns on this one, and four missile launchers. So, if you were to actually get in this ship, at the very front we have a reactor, and here's how you get in, through this little tiny gap, a bit silly, but at the very front there, I'm using the inside view, you can see that we have one more reactor in the front for extra power and protection. This one, I don't know, it looks pretty cool, I think, for... I don't know what it is. It's a very, very strange thing. It's got a lot, a whole lot of firepower. So if we were to load up its guns and fire, you can see that awesome little, it almost looks like a circle is being fired out of just bullets out of the front. That's a huge muzzle flash. From the inside, of course, you're not going to see much. But, so this is another ship you'd have to fly just from the outside, which is unfortunate. Hopefully one day they'll add systems to allow us cameras or they'll actually make cockpits sturdy enough to be used. 
And you see here when we're flying, you can hear the impact of the bolts. It's very, very cool. And when we're targeting at stuff here, you can see the weapons all create that very, very cool aiming circle at things, which I like a whole lot. And of course, we have our rockets here. So instead of just Gatlings, we have our four little rocket dots, and those have a pretty good impact. The ship also moves reasonably fast for a larger sort of fighter, but it does lack a lot of speed. And I figured, hey, if we're going to be cutting down on speed, let's uh, let's just go all out on a ship. If we're going to be, you know, canceling out speed, let's just make it a full-on weapons platform. So I sort of went with the idea that I originally had for my point strike defense turret. And I said, okay, let's take the original circle, the outer circular bit, or what started as a square, actually, and let's bulk it up a whole lot more. Let's bump out the sides, that way we can stick the engines in there. Let's curve it, that way it looks a bit nicer, stuck a whole lot more engines in there. And then let's actually just expand out the whole thing. At the front of the ship, we can go ahead and put in a whole weapons array. So we got basically the same setup, but now it's very heavily armored with a lot more engines. And of course we could, there's a lot of room up there is what I'm trying to get at, to expand even further. And you could actually put weapons behind weapons, but I haven't actually done that for this one. And then in the back, the way you get into it, instead of having that little cheaty opening is you sort of fly up like this and then lean forward that way you can hover upwards into the ship and here you go on the inside you can see we have a huge assortment of reactors in here tons and tons of gyros scattered about and then we actually have storage containers down here because i'm assuming weapons are definitely going to need ammo in the future so let's start future proofing a tiny bit so we got our storage in here for extra engine fuel thingies if we need those and of course ammo so let's jump in here really quick again this is another ship you'd have to fly from third person a bit unfortunate but let's just load up its weapons again and you can see here oh, if i'm not holding alt that is we get a nice little aiming circle again and i like this one awful lot and of course then we also get our missiles and as for ship movement you can see it's a pretty slow ship but one of the things with this is something about it, I don't know, it just seems like it handles better than me. It's probably the more gyros. And also you can hold W and, let's say, A, and accelerate diagonally far faster than you could just forward or in one direction. So it's a pretty good fighter, and it's the sort of thing I would use, basically. You don't fly directly at your enemy. You always fly at an angle because we're in space. There's no reason to use direct fight flight too much. So you can sort of set stuff up like that, and this ship can actually pretty quickly chew through things if I can actually hit it. A little hard to aim in third person, but there you go. You can see it's chewing that right up. Very, very beautiful. I can actually aim around here. And eat right through that as well. I, I like this ship probably a whole lot. It's probably my favorite right now. Even though, like, this one here that I'm shooting at now is pretty damn good, and the one that had no armor on it was pretty good. This one, just overall, I, I just end up liking it the most. But now let's move on to one other. Because while I was flying this around, I noticed... It looks pretty cool if I was flying it maybe like this, like if this was the back of the ship. So what I did, oop, if we ever load up here, is I decided to copy this ship and basically rework it to fly like that. And of course that meant full reworking of the weapons. And I'll, uh, I'll just cut to that while I bumble about trying to get out of the ship while I hit my head on stuff. Alrighty, and here we go. This is our last fighter. Basically, all I did with this one is I took the design of the other ship. By the way, I had to reload because of some issues with the uh, Gatling guns being too loud. But anyway, this is the last fighter. It's basically the same as that one, as I said, except for instead of it flying with that being forward, now this is the front. And you can see here, I've stuck a few turrets here and a missile launcher. And originally that was it, but I decided, you know what, we could use a tiny bit more. Oh, it looks like we actually have some dents in here. Don't know how those got in here. But anyway, I, maybe I could use some more. So I stuck this huge array in up here. And of course, I, that required me moving a few gyros in around inside and putting some more blocks. So I had to... It took a little while longer than it should have, and I originally would have liked to have just had the weapons here, but that would have required moving these engines here elsewhere to fit the guns in properly, so I ended up just going with that up there. And I could have also probably stuck them through the middle here, but I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the array, and it makes some pretty interesting things. So let's fly into here, just as we did before. Lean forward and fly all the way up here. And here you go, the only real other change besides the gyros I talked about being moved is this here, and it's a cockpit being rotated to face the new front. And if I switch the weapons, you can see it's almost like that thing from Independence Day now, the big helicopters that have those flashing lights to communicate with the aliens, except for this is slightly more shocking. Brace yourself. <laughs> Loud. And see, this is why I had to restart, because I had originally done this. Loud, Norman, look how low my sound is, and those are still deafening compared to all other things. So I'm turning that down. Jesus. Okay, 
There we go, I got the sound. It's still a bit loud. It's a bit strange how loud these are compared to the other ones, and the only thing I can think of is the more guns you get, the louder it is, which sort of makes sense, I guess. But anyway, there you go. When you spin about with this one, you see these nice sort of planes of bullets shooting out. Oh, I don't want to hit that thing yet. And of course, in third person, it's always a little bit harder to aim. You have to aim with those red dots, and you have to figure out where they are a little bit before you actually start firing. But with this thing, you can so quickly just tear through stuff. And unfortunately, it's not aimed right at the middle, but that's sort of good for attacking very large things, sort of like on another one of these ships. Or if you were to, let's say, attack a small fighter that's trying to dodge you because then you don't have to worry about being quite as accurate with your aiming and your bullets will still tear through things very easily and you won't have to worry about yeah, again aiming because you can aim at them and as they attempt to turn they're going to fly into your bullets anyway i like this thing a lot now one last thing i gotta show before i go besides the just endless destructive power of this thing and the fact that it can just maul through all this is that right up there where my target reticle is and now the red dots are on it. And that is actually a cutaway of the basic version of the ship, the one that flies and shoots out the pointy end basically. So let me fly over to that really quickly. Oh, disoriented. There we go. And again, it's just a cutaway. All I did was cut it in half and delete the one half and then I went back and put the little bits that were in the middle, which were the cockpit and the whatever you call this thing, satellite radar dish thing that currently doesn't do anything, but hell, maybe one day it'll allow you to actually use it as sort of a camera out the front, or maybe they'll add a special camera or something. That way you can still put your cockpits in the center of things, or maybe it'll just armor up the cockpits, that way they don't get taken out with one bullet. Anyway, here you go. Basic cutaway right there is where you sort of have to float upwards into the ship. It's blocking wall, and you can see here the engines do actually eat into the interior space there a fair bit. And all of our setups. So, you know, I just thought this might be useful. A few people, or at least one person on the Reddit was saying, hey, developers, or not developers, but people who make ships, would you kindly do this? Yes, yes, I will kindly do that. It sounds like a good idea. Anyway, thanks a bunch for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, whew, dizzy.